Alright, so here is the bridge C-type keyboard for Chrome OS. I'm a big fan of Chrome OS. Recording my audio right now on my Chromebook, this uh, Lenovo. I made a video previously about the Slate keyboard, or the Google Slate, or Pixel Slate, this guy. And I had this keyboard. Uh, this one, which I was a big fan of. I already had a Chromebook for my a Chromebox for my son. Uh, then I got myself a Chromebook, and I got him a Chromebook. So for his Chromebox, I figured it made more sense to get him a Chrome-specific keyboard. Like previously, I didn't realize Chrome had their own special keys. I mean, a regular keyboard will work; it's what you use all this time. But it's kind of nice to have your own little keys. So it's a uh, nice little logo there. It has these little rubber feet. It's that blue color, similar to my Lenovo and similar to the Pixel Slate. In the box is a little C to C cord. And a little bridge sticker, which I don't seem to be using. So the box claims six months of battery life, which I find hard to believe. Uh, you can use USB-C or Bluetooth to connect it. And it's an aluminum body. I like how the boxes that show the device itself. It's a nice touch. And then there's the USB-C there, and there's pretty much nothing else. Uh, keyboard wise, you can see the keys are not rubber, they're kind of a plastic, I guess. Now the device feels sturdy, like, I mean, I could break it because I'm strong as fuck, but a normal person probably would struggle. So, your escape, your back key, your refresh key, your full screen key. Your desktop key, I think. Brightness, play pause, I like that button there, and the volume controls. And this will be to turn it on, I believe. And of course, you have your Google Assistant button there, which is nice. And this would bring up your apps or your whatever that, what do you call it, your home screen ish. So, here you can kind of see. So, this is my son's uh, Lenovo Chromebook, which I had a video on as well. And let's see. Give you an idea of the size of it. So it's slightly bigger than the 11 inch keyboard has for you. I really like this Lenovo keyboard, but you can see the keys up top line up pretty much the same, except for there's this button instead of a power button. Uh, and instead of the search, you have this little guy. You can remap that, I believe. And then this has the Google Assistant instead of the extra large alt key, which I like as well. Side note uh, if you're looking for a Chromebook for a child or something like that, this. Uh, I paid 231 You can get it as cheap as 170 bucks, I think, from Walmart, but for me, this was a great device. Here's the Logitech keyboard he's been using. Again, this is just a, just a standard Logitech keyboard. Logitech makes good keyboards. So the keyboard portion is going to be about the same, but you can see all this extra real estate taken up. Uh, I don't believe he uses these volume buttons here for anything, right? And those are, of course, replicated here anyhow, other than the track skip button, but I don't think he uses those buttons regardless. I'm not sure they work from the, work. Yeah, from the Logitech to Chrome. They wouldn't work. This would probably would work in Windows. I guess you could potentially start the Logitech app, but that's not the point. Uh, it does have the number pad inside, which I would like. I like on my Windows device. Uh, I don't believe. I certainly know this one is way heavier than the other one. <laughs> so he's definitely not crunching out numbers in Excel, so he doesn't really need the number pad. The only thing I don't like is it doesn't come with a mouse. I would like a mouse to match it, even though there's nothing special about a Chrome mouse. Uh, they had briefly st had like a post on the website or that they were going to have like a trackpad, like kind of like the magic trackpad for Apple, but they don't, at least not that I'm aware of. Um, this little thing will explain, uh, that's a different language. <laughs> There you go, this tells you what each button does. Yeah, switch windows, full screen, refresh, back current. This is the only one I really don't know what it does. Alt plus Bluetooth. Press and hold for three seconds to pair your bridge and Chrome device. That's good. Alt plus power. 
turn off the device. Or okay, so those three things. It'll bring up the menu. Or if you hold that the alt button plus that and the power, it will turn off the bridge device. Or alt plus Bluetooth will, will turn on the Bluetooth for you. All right, so we're gonna go set that up and we'll pair it to his uh, Chromebook, Chrome box. All right, so you can see here's my son's desk setup. Here's his Nintendo Switch, his Chrome box. He's this little stand for his phone, and there's a mouse that's hardwired to his uh, Chrome box. I'll probably get a oh, it's wireless. Never mind. That wires his headphones. Uh, so he uses the Logitech one that came with it like that. So it'd be nice if you had a mouse to go with it. So. All right, so this is a USB-C cord that's plugged uh, directly into his Chromebox. It's going to be hard to get the monitor in here at the same time. But so I'm just going to plug it in USB-C first because it's probably not charged up. So now we plug it in USB-C like. And the mouse, it does work. All right. So yeah, as soon as you plug it in, it works just fine. So, so let me hold this up. I might hit the search button and it doesn't do shit <laughs> it's pretty cool I guess that's not too bad let's see if this button does something here so I guess that to come up so that's fine I guess okay so now I have enabled Google Assistant and let's hit it there we go so now it comes right up and you can just type your question there okay so yeah it essentially works let's uh, let me open up a website YouTube so here's my site. Let's see if you can get that search bar in there. And I'll hit the refresh. And you can see it refreshing over there, right? So that works. Um, brightness. That's not going to do anything on a docked device. Volume. Yeah, so you can see it does work the volume. And mute it. So hit the menu. Oh, that's cool. I do, I do like that, actually. So that will bring up your settings if you just hit that button. You can see it up there, right? So that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to unplug it. And I'm going to turn Bluetooth on here. And I think Alt and this. So the volume button has a Bluetooth icon. So you get the Alt button and the Bluetooth. And it should. There you go. So it's flashing blue now here. And I can see it pop up here. Alright. So now it's paired. It should work fine. So according to this, it will enter sleep 15 minutes after not using it. Which is okay, I guess. Alright, so here's an article from Chrome Unboxed. Paste this uh, Chrome flag, show Bluetooth device battery. And change this to enabled. So now, let me unplug this. And it still doesn't show the battery percentage. I remember when I did this on the slate, it took a while for it to show, so it may be a bug or something. But all right, now it's working though. Yeah, okay, so I do like typing on it. All right, yeah. So I'm gonna say, just gonna get the thumbs up right now. We haven't really did deep dive on it, of course, uh, but you can see how much space it will save on the desk. You know, he doesn't have a huge desk in the first place. Like I said, he has a switch here under the dock sock. There's a Nintendo switch. I'm going to plug it in now to charge, but once it's charged, you shouldn't need to worry about that. So you can see how much bigger the other keyboard is, right? So you can see how much of that space of his desk takes up by that keyboard. So if we get this one out of here and just use the smaller keyboard have a lot more room certainly like when school starts again and if you need to do homework or something like that it'd be easier to move this out away and write something here right or whatever have you right so all right so that's working pretty good we're gonna let it charge up and won't go through uh, leave me comments or questions i think i got it for like 50 bucks on amazon which is pretty good i'll have a link in the description of course there's also like a dell version and it comes with a mouse so i would like that but i'd already purchased this one before it came out i just hadn't gone around to make a video on it but I've also had a really good experience with Bridge. The Bridge keyboard I had for my Slate quit working. I sent an email to Bridge with hardly any problem at all. They just asked me to send the video, show the error, and I did. And then they sent me a brand new one. It's pretty good service. Good customer service. Uh, and, you know, they make a lot of products. that They focus a lot on iPads and stuff. But they're one of the few people that do make cool products for Chrome devices. So, 
I do like that. And I think it looks cool, and I think it seems to be quality built. So, all right. Thanks for checking us out. Uh, leave me a question if you have any. Leave a comment. Give me a sub. Give me a thumbs up. I got cool shit. You're gonna like it. All right. Thanks.